Good evening and welcome Saints fans to Saints Field here in St. Augustine. My name is Troy McNeil and I will be with you guys during this game. This is Flagler College Men's Soccer and we've got a big one here tonight guys. This is a very important game for us. Flagler College Men's Soccer team will be hosting Francis Marion University. Flagler College is coming into this game with a 5-7-1 overall record. 4-3-0 mark in Peach Belt Conference play. While Francis Marion has been 5-3-0 in conference play. Francis Marion sits two spots ahead of the Saints in the overall Peach Belt Conference standings. If we're able to pick up a victory here tonight, we could move ahead. The Saints have dominated the all-time series with the Patriots, owning a 6-1-0 record against Francis Marion. Flagler has won the last two meetings between the two sides, including a 3-2 victory in 2015. In that game, Pedro Silva, who was back with us this year, recorded a goal and an assist. Oscar Davidson, also starting in tonight's match, scored what would become the game winner in that match. The only win Francis Marion has against the Saints came in 2014. The Saints dropped their last contest, however, to UNC Pembroke in a conference game 3-2 in double overtime. Flagler came out firing early with an early 2-0 lead. But Pembroke was able to rally back for the win. Jackie Kay and Eamon Moore each had goals off of headers from corner kicks in that game. Juan Membrano tallied up both of those assists. However, we were not able to keep the uh, UNC Pembroke players at bay for the rest of the game as they came storming back with three unanswered goals. Francis Marion is entering tonight's match on quite a hot streak. They have won five of their last six contests. Young Harris College was the only team to beat them throughout this stretch. Young Harris also sits ahead of St. August of uh, Flagler in the Peach Belt Conference standings. Saints need this victory here tonight. Francis Marin comes in with one of the Peach Belt's top scorers. Leading the Peach Belt Conference in points is Levin Sandman, number 10 for Francis Marion. He also leads the Peach Belt, Conf Peach Belt Conference in shots taken with 70 overall shots. So expect him to have quite a few opportunities in tonight's match. He is their go-to guy. He scored both of their goals in the win against Georgia Southwestern in their last game. Lex Craigs <coughs> will have a lot a lot to do in this game. He comes in with a save percentage of 782, saving one point, uh, only giving up 1.36 goals on average. He can expect a lot of shots coming from Sandman in this game. As I said, Lex Craigs is in goal once again tonight. As usual, the senior from Ocala, Florida, leads the team out onto the field. Joining him on the starting roster will be number two, Rafael Molina. Number three, Imanya Damjanovic. Number seven, Oscar Davidson. Number eight, Cameron Silbar. Number 10, Juan Membrano. Number 12, Samba, Samba Giap. Number 13, Graham Grassmeyer. Number 19, Eamon Moore. Number 21, Jackie Kay. And number 24, Dominic DeFell.
Brett Samarin with the ball right around midfield looking to get their attack going. Saints defense step up on quickly looking to get counter attack going. They set up the offense before getting it to midfield. Fast paced game thus far. Ball going back and forth between the two sides. Starting tonight's game in goal for Francis Marion will be sophomore goalkeeper number one, Jonathan Manis. Joining him on the starting roster will be number three, Luca Knutza, number four, Jivin Williams, number seven, Gaspard Minion, number eight, Harrison Smith, number nine, Gail Mabular, number 10, Levin Sandman, number 11, Oliver Drakenhammer, number 13, Austin Lee, and rounding out the starters for Francis Marion will be number 23, Matteo Capintani. I'm sure we don't have to remind the guys out there just how important this game is, as every every game is just as important, but this one has a little extra meaning to it. Both teams are going to be fighting very hard to get this victory late in the season. This is actually the final home game for the Saints. Tonight, they have uh, one more game after this, and that will be Saturday, October 29th, at Clayton State for another Peach Belt Conference game. Saints want to send the home field out in style, though, with a victory, hoping they can get on the board early here. Francis Marin look to get their attack going as they send it up the field on the far side, trying to get something going. A little bit of a trip there, though. Ball will be sent out of the back line. There will be a corner kick for Francis Marin. First corner of the game. And here comes the corner on the far side of the field. Ball ricochets straight back out of bounds into the protective net. Lex Craigs is going to set up for the goal kick. Oscar Davidson leads the way for Flagler College. When it comes to goals, he's put up four this year. He also leads the way with points, with eight points. Pedro Silva, however, leads Flagler in shots. He has taken 24 thus far on the year. Saints will now have a corner kick. First of the game for Flagler. This has been our bread and butter lately. Scoring both of our goals in the last game. This one comes high. Saints are able to get ahead on it, but not able to angle it downward as it goes high over the crossbar and out of bounds. As I said earlier, Jackie Kay and Eamon Moore scored last game. Both off of headers from corner kicks. So the more opportunities we can get there, the better we are. We have good set plays. The Saints have been doing a great job at getting those opportunities. This ball comes into the stands. Heads up, everyone. A couple good plays from the people out there in the stands. We have two balls on the field now. There we go. We've got it settled. Don't worry, everyone.
Patriots come out into the field wearing navy blue uniforms with some red trim. Saints are coming out in their all whites. Those all whites are so fresh and so clean thanks to Adidas. Adidas is the official outfitter of Flagler College Athletics. Adidas. Impossible is nothing. This one is crossed over to the other side of the field. Above everyone, though, and out of the box, Francis Marion settled it down for a moment, trying to get rid of it now as the Saints are swarming them and come up with the ball. We still have it in our attacking half of the field. Fast break now for Francis Marion. Lex Craig starts to come out of the net and is able to get a piece of it and knock the ball away. Great save there. Good play as it was one-on-one. -on -one. For those of you joining us just now for the men's game, the women played earlier before this one and were able to take down Francis Marin 4-0 in a great game. Grace Rainier put two goals in the back of the net. Joining her on the scoreboard were um, Abby Austin and Vidrine for the Saints. Hoping for the same outcome for the men to go up early in this one. Ball's going to roll out of bounds on the near side of the field sideline here. Francis Marin's going to have thrown just in front of midfield. They get in quickly. Looking to get some numbers up against this Saints defense. Saints playing good defense thus far, though. There's the through ball that gets into the box. Lex Craig is going to come out for it and make a great save on it. Able to get to the ball before anybody else. Craig's is a senior out of Ocala, Florida. He is the son of Tommy and Lynn Craig's, a business administrator major. In his free time, he likes to go fishing and play golf. So, if you're looking for that kind of man, ladies, hit him up. I'm just kidding. Patriots looking to put this one over everybody. Craigs tries to sell it down. But his kick deflected right off the chest of the Francis Marion playing come down the field. Dangerous play there to come that far out of the net and try to get away. Luckily, there was a foul called against Francis Marion. So Craigs is going to set up here and get the game going for the Saints. About 31 minutes left here in a scoreless first half. Whistle will be blown. There was a foul against Francis Marion. Flagler tried to get off quickly. Lex Craigs comes out of the net again, trying to get the ball away, but it deflects off of his own player this time. We have a little bit of a scuffle going on here. Like I said, this is an important game. Both teams know it. They're going to be fighting for every inch. Referee's going to come in and try to settle both of these teams down. Francis Marion's player. Looks like Sandman is coming up, arguing the call. If you ask me, he's just a little salty. That's right. Voted St. Augustine's best seafood and best overall res restaurant, Salt Life Seafood Shack, is located directly across the street from St. Augustine Pier. 
With ocean views and a rooftop deck, they offer the perfect destination for locals and guests to enjoy great dishes, cool drinks, and the opportunity to catch up with family and friends. At the shack, you can enjoy it all with live music seven days a week. Eat, drink, and be salty. For more information, visit their website at www.saltlifefoodshack. It's one of those terms I've picked up from the kids these days. Salty, for all of you out there who don't know what it means, is when a player is a little angry. When everyone's a little angry, you know? Throwing a little salt on the fire. Saints now have a free kick just outside the box. France Marin sets up their wall. Saints going to try to take an early lead here with this shot. See if we can crash the goal. Taking it for the Saints is Eamon Moore, it looks like. Puts a boot into this one, but this one goes high of the net. And above the crossbar, out of bounds, going to set up a goal kick for the Patriots. Not a great touch there from the Saints on the defense as Francis Marin is able to retain the ball off of that play. And they now have an attack going against Saints. Defense is back, though. Trying to slow him down as this ball gets into the box. Good deflection there by the Saints. Foul is called, though, it looks like. There is a player down for Francis Marin. Looks like he's going to be able to get up on his own power. We will have a quick stoppage of time, though, to assess the situation. Florida Sports Medicine Institute specializes in the comprehensive management of athletic injuries and provides state-of-the-art treatment in a caring, sophisticated environment. FSMI's specialist goal is to improve the identification prevention, treatment, and rehabilitation of sports injuries from the recreational to the elite athlete. And here comes the free kick from the Saints. Ray intellects Craig's chest. He comes up with it quickly. Good looking save there from Craig's. Todd, Dr. Todd Northrup is board certified and fellowship trained in sports medicine and arthroscopy at the Florida Sports Medicine Institute. To find out more from Sports Medicine Institute, visit our website at floridasportsmedicineinstitute.com. Referee may have missed a call there. Fans are going a little crazy here. Wanting the call, nothing was given, though. Luckily, there was no harm, no foul on that one as Francis Marion was not able to come up with anything off of the no call. France Marin now has a throw on the near side of the field. The game is starting to get a little testy early on. Full teams going at it as hard as they can, trying to win this game. They know how much it means. Referee's going to try to keep them in check. He's got to do his job out here and keep everyone cool tempered. Tonight's game is being brought to you by the Hamvee Group with UBS Financial Services Incorporated, a subsidiary of UBS AG and member of FINRA SIPC. We will not rest isn't just the theme of their team. It encompasses the spirit in which we approach everything we do at UBS. It's our commitment to client relationships, it's understanding their goals, and it's leaving no stone unturned and no resource untapped in our effort to help our clients achieve their financial goals. Contact David Hanvey, Vice President, Wealth Management, at 904-280-6057. Saints are able to win the ball back on the far side of the field, trying to get something going here. This one's Rick Shea out of bounds off of a Patriot player, so we will have a throw-in. Throw-in comes back towards the midfield as Saints try to set up their offense. Francis Marin is... Getting to the ball quickly whenever it does get in, though. It's 
not been easy for the Saints. And here comes the throw in for Flagler. Ball is not not able to be kept in bounds by Francis Marin, so the Saints will have yet another throw in from about the same spot. Prince Marion gets the free kick off quickly trying to exploit the defense before they can get back in time but the Saints are able to clear the ball out of there When it comes to goals per period, Francis Marin is being outscored by their opponents. Francis Marin has put up 26 total goals, while their opponents by period have put up 36. On Flagler's end, they have put up 16 goals per period, while their opponents are putting up 24. Francis Marion has gotten off 232 total shots this year. Compared to Flagler's 154, that's a big difference, and most of that comes because of their top player, Sandman, getting off 70 shots on the season, which, as I said earlier in the broadcast, leads the Peach Belt Conference. Flagler's leader in shots, to put that in comparison, has been Pedro Silva with 24. So 11 Sandman has really been uh, doing a lot of the heavy lifting for his team. Couple players on the field playing for a yellow. It's just going to be a common foul, though, given by the ref. Saints are going to have the free kick. Taking the free kick will be number 10, Juan Membrano for the Saints. Puts it into the box. Saints are not able to get ahead on it, though. France Marion wins the ball away as they look to clear it out, maybe get a counterattack going. Saints are back on defense quickly, though, knowing how dangerous Francis Marion's scoring attack can be. Good defense there by the Saints. Ball comes into the box. Lex Craig's comes out of the net trying to make a save on it. France Marin is able to slow it down though. Craig's is finally able to come up with the ball off of the shot. Prince Marion pulls out, trying to slow it down a little bit, get their offense set up as the Saints were looking to get into the attacking half of the field. Good move there by Prince Marion's players. They're looking to get it in. Lex Craig's is able to make a stop on the ball, though. 
originally. This one's going to go out for a corner for Francis Marion. This is their second corner of the game, third overall. France Marin is able to keep the ball and possession while the Saints were able to get out of the box momentarily. France Marin sends it right back in though. Saints are on it quickly. This one's going to change sides of the field while the Patriots look to get something going. He was trying to bend it like Beckham, but it bent the wrong way as it sailed wide out of bounds. Lex Craigs will have the goal kick for the Saints. Saints looking to get into the attacking half of the field now. France Marin's defense is back and waiting for him. Saints are able to retain possession for the time being as they put it in towards the box. Nobody crashing at the moment, though. This will be an easy stop for Francis Marin, who looks to set up the offense. Manis hasn't had too many shots coming his way for Francis Marion thus far as the Saints have not been able to get too many shots off. Had a couple corners and free kick opportunities, but most of them have sailed high or wide out of bounds. Lex Craigs has had a little more to do on our end of the field, though, as he's come out of the net quite a few times trying to make a few saves. We have about 18 and a half minutes left in this first half. Still scoreless in the game. Saints looking to get past a couple of the final defenders. There were some good touches there, good passes. Saints were not able to keep possession, though, as they got closer to the back line defense of Francis Marin, who was back and waiting. Francis Marin now looking to get a counterattack of their own going, but the Saints are ready for it, and this one's just going to be popped up into Craig's hands. Saints had one back and running. However, that pass was just a little too far out of his reach as Manis came out and secured it for the Patriots. Good defense there by the Saints to send this one out of bounds off the side. To set up the defense, France Marion has a throw, and they get in quickly. 
but the defense is set up a little better for the Saints as this one changes sides of the field quickly and is sent right back out of bounds. Oh, I'm sorry, this one stays in bounds. We're going to continue play. Francis Marion still has the ball. Giveaway there by the Saints. You would think they would want to keep possession, maybe get an offensive series going there, but that one is passed away quickly. Saints now have the ball back, looking to get the offense going. Better possession this time as the pass comes up to Oscar Davidson, who has a run on it. He puts it in the front of the net, and it's through! Goal for the Saints! That one's in the back of the net. Beautiful pass there by Davidson, who put it just past the goalie's hands. And the Saints were able to connect on a goal, putting us up 1-0 with about 16 minutes left in the half. Pedro Silva was the one crashing the front of the net there on the pass, putting one through for the Saints as we take the early lead 1-0. Beautiful play overall. We found one man running there, and it was Oscar Davidson coming through on the near side of the field. He was able to put a great pass through the box, past Francis Marion's defense to Pedro Silva running right down the middle. Francis Marion with the ball now trying to get one on the board themselves and tie this one up. Craig's is ready for it as the team comes near him. He sends this one out near midfield. There is a whistle as the flag goes up as one of Francis Marion's players was offsides on that play. France Marin now has a couple men running here down the field. Saints are trying to get back on defense to slow it down, and they are able to for the time being as they get out near midfield to slow down France Marin's attack. Points sent far out of bounds and into the bleachers. That's a souvenir for a one lucky fan. Nope, never mind. We have to throw it back onto the field because we are a small college and we lack type of supplies to just give away soccer balls like that. Craigs comes out of the net once again and makes the play on the ball for the Saints. He's going to get the offense going once again. Saints were able to put one on the board early on. Well, actually, later on in the first half, I guess. With about 16 minutes left. Pedro Silva was able to put one through and into the back of the net to put the Saints up 1-0. Score remains the same now with about 13 minutes left in the half. There is a foul against France Marion. Push in the back as one man was going up for the header. So the Saints will retain possession here with a free kick just inside of the midfield mark in the attacking zone. This one is sent into the box. Saints do get ahead on it, but it rolls out of bounds. Nowhere near the goal on that one. 
so France Marion will have an easy time setting up for the goal kick. Saints have a throw in on the near side of the field now taking the throw and will be number eight Cameron Silbar for the Saints. That ball is played right back out of bounds however so right at midfield Francis Marion will have thrown. They get in quickly and play it back trying to settle things down as Flagler was doing a good job of pressuring them. Prince Marion looking to get into the box, get a shot off of their own and try to tie this game up. But the Saints playing good defense on it as they have men stacked up in there waiting. Going to try to switch sides of the field and see if they can get anything going on that side. Saints were ready, had it well scouted. Not able to clear it just yet though. Now in Rick Shade off of Flagler and then right back off Francis Marion. So the goal kick will be awarded to the Saints. And Lex Craigs will be taking it. Ten minutes left in this first half of play. Saints are up 1-0. Whistle is blown. Stoppage of play. There will be a foul called. This one's going to go against the Saints. Francis Marin will have the ball and get away quickly. Right behind midfield trying to get the ball up on their offensive side. Saints switch sides of the field and send it up the far side. Sideline just in front of their bench before they look to get it in the box. Coming out of the net will be Manus for Francis Marion putting his paws on the ball trying to get it away and stop the attacks. Francis Marion are now on a counter attack of their own. Getting the ball into the box. Shot is taken. And it is through. Craigs was able to make the first save on the original shot. But the Saints were not able to mark up on the crashing players for the Patriots. We're all knotted up at one with about eight minutes left in this first half. Craig's made a good play on the ball for that first save. But Francis Marin was sending multiple men in crashing the ball.
Number 11, Drakenhammer, was the one who came up with that rebound for Francis Marion. Saints now get it going quickly, trying to get the lead back. Here comes the free kick from Francis Marion just outside the box on the left side of the field. Sends it straight into goal. It goes past all the Francis Marion players, though, and somehow that shot got past Lex Craig's good-looking shot there. He put just enough on it to put it up into the upper 90 on the left side of the goal and past Craig's outstretched arms in a matter of minutes. Prince Marin is taking the lead 2-1. Gaspard Minion, number 7 for Prince Marin, came up with that goal. Off his foot, didn't look like it was going to be more than just a floater, but it just kept rising and made its way into the upper 90 left corner of the box of the net Fred's Marin goes up 2-1 a lot of game left to play though Saints cannot get discouraged off of this giving up the lead they still have about six and a half minutes left to play in this first half and an entire half after that they're moving the ball in the box nicely here Manis is finally able to punch it out to stop the Saints attack but the Saints still have it on Francis Marin's half of the field. Saints look to cross this one into the box. A little too much on the cross, though. It sails past everybody and out of bounds. It will go out of bounds off of the Patriots, though. So the Saints will have a throw in right around the corner flag. If we had replays here, I would show you a replay of that last goal by Francis Marion. Nothing you can really do to stop that kind of shot. Just got to applaud him on his willingness to take the shot. Craig's made a good effort on the ball. He's not able to get enough of a piece of it to deflect it upward. Saints still have about five minutes left in this first half. Looking to tie the game up. Francis Marion is up 2-1 at the moment. Jonathan Manis looks to take the goal kick for the Patriots. Francis Marin able to clear that one out away from the box and win the ball back eventually. However, they had a man running upside, offsides behind the last defender. It looked like it might have been Drake and Hammer. 
who was the man offsides for Francis Marion. Oh, maybe not, actually. Could not tell who it was offsides. Didn't have a good look at him. Pretty sure it was Drake and Hammer. Saints now have the ball, though. And they send this one out of bounds off the back line. Thanks to WSOS 103.9 FM for proudly supporting Flagler College Athletics. You can listen to local radio at its best anytime at staugustineradio.com. If you'd like to check out some photos from tonight's game and get a different look at the action, Fran Rahalski is the man to go to. Fran Rahalski is the official photographer of Flagler College Athletic Action Photography. Please visit his web at franrahalski.com. Coming into the game for the Saints looks like it is number 11, Simeon Wickley. This ball is going to be played back to Craig's who puts a boot into it and sends it out to the midline. Balls sent out of the field. Saints are going to have it with a minute left. Looking to tie this game up in the first half. Ball comes in near the box. There is a whistle blown though. As it appears, Saints had a man too far back. Offsides was the cause. The flag went up. About 10 seconds left. Looks like France Marion is just going to try to clock has run out on this first half. Score is two to one. I'm Troy McNeil. This is Flagler College Athletics. You're watching Flagler men's soccer take on Francis Marion. We're going to step away for a few minutes and be back with a couple corporate sponsors. Thank you guys for joining us. Go Saints. We'll be back in a minute.
Welcome back, Saints fans. It's that time of the game again. Time to read some corporate sponsors. Strap in! Buckle up! Here we go. Conveniently located one mile from campus on Anastasia Island, Sleep In of St. Augustine is a proud to be a official hotel partner of Flagler College Athletics. Locally owned and operated for 16 years, Sleep In is the ideal place for anyone visiting Flagler College or Historic St. Augustine. Sleep In is part of Choice Hotels family with nearly 400 locations nationwide. Sleep In St. Augustine offers year-round special rates for Flagler College students, alumni, parents, staff, and visiting sports teams. For reservations, call 904-825-4535 and ask for the Flagler College rate. Atlantic Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram, family owned and operated, serving the St. Augustine community for over 40 years. They offer great products backed by great service. Atlantic is the only inaugural recipient of the Customer First Award for Excellence in North Florida and South Georgia. If you're shopping for a new or used car, truck, or SUV, stop by Atlantic Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram on US-1 for a quick and easy car buying experience. Carabas Italian Grill of St. Augustine is a proud corporate sponsor of Flagler Athletics. Located on State Road 312, you can enjoy more than 20 new scratch-made menu items. Carabas Italian Grill of St. Augustine, this is how you do Italian. At Anastasia Fitness, we care about results, accountability, variety, and community. With experienced, certified staff, and membership discounts for students, there is nothing stop you from achieving the results you want today at Anastasia Fitness. We are located across the Bridge of Lions at 1045 Anastasia Boulevard. And please visit us online at AnastasiaFit.com. Whether it's breakfast, lunch, or dinner, why not eat fresh? Subway has a wide range of sandwich combinations to choose from with the fresh ingredients. Stop by our local Subway on 135 King Street, one of 11 stores in St. Augustine. Subway, eat fresh. Academy Bus, the East Coast leader in bus transportation services, is proud to sponsor Flagler College Athletics. Like those who wear the crimson and gold, we strive for excellence with every move we make. To learn more about how we can move your group, visit our website at www.academybuscharter.com or call 800-555-2872 to speak to a sales representative. Sunny's Real Pit Barbecue is a proud corporate sponsor of Flagler College Athletics and is a licensed franchisee of Sonny's Real Pit Barbecue. Evans Automotive and Tire Center is a proud sponsor of Flagler College Athletics. We are family owned and operated and value our reputation of being an honest auto repair facility and tire store. We are AAA approved and our mechanics are ASE certified with over 75 years of total experience. Evans Automotive and Tire is located on State Road 207 just north of the 312 intersection. Visit our website at evans-automotive.com or call us at 819-6599. Evans Automotive, providing quality work at a fair price. Five Star Pizza is a proud sponsor of Flagler Athletics. You can order online, carry out, or call for delivery. Five Star Pizza is located at 987 South Ponce de Leon Boulevard, and you can call to order at 824-9868. At 123 Burger House, our wood-fired oven combined with hand-selected ingredients ensures that we deliver the best food to your table. Burgers, pizza, ice cream. 123 Burger House is the place to go. Now fly to Philadelphia and Chicago from right here in St. Augustine. There's no need to go to Jacksonville or Orlando anymore. Just go to Northeast Florida Regional Airport for your travel needs.
Nestled in the heart of downtown historic St. Augustine, the St. Augustine Municipal Marina is a true treasure for anyone traveling the surrounding waterways of Northeast Florida. Whether you are transiting the open ocean waters of the Atlantic or the more closely navigationable channels of the intercoastal waterway, a stop in St. Augustine is worth the stay. Stay with us, Saints fans. About two and a half minutes left until the second half of this game. Francis Marin is on top, 2-1 to one of Flagler College. We'll be right back in just a few minutes. Go Saints! Welcome back, Saints fans. This is Troy McNeil. You're watching Flagler Men's Soccer take on Francis Marion. Second half is underway now. Francis Marion is leading the way 2-1 to one in this game. Saints took the early lead when Pedro Silva was able to put one in the back of the net off the pass by Oscar Davidson. However, Francis Marion came back with two unanswered goals, and that's where we stand now. Flagler's looking to get back on the scoreboard and tie this one up. If you're just joining us, I mentioned earlier, this is one of the more important games for Flagler College. Francis Marion sits two spots ahead in the Peach Belt Conference standings with a 5-3-0 record. Flagler comes in with a 4-2-0 record in the conference. In the all-time series, the Saints have been more victorious owning a 6-1-0 record over Francis Marion. Saints need this win to move ahead of Francis, to possibly move ahead of Francis Marion in the standings. It goes by points. You are awarded three points for a win and one for a tie. As of right now, the Saints sit at 12 points in conference while Francis Marion comes in with 15 points in this game. If the Saints are able to pick up a win, they will have that 15 points that will tie them up with Francis Marion in the Peach Belt Conference. This has been a hard-fought match so far. Both teams really been into it, getting after every ball.
ball comes out right around midfield. Francis Marion sends it back, but the Saints are ready for it. Saints looking to keep it in their attacking half of the field. Moving the ball around nicely thus far. Francis Marion playing back on defense. They have everybody back. Saints looking to find that one gap. Whistle will be blown by the head official. And Francis Marin will come out with a free kick. Samba Jop playing defense there for the Saints. Ball comes into the box. Saints have it well scouted though and are able to clear it out for the time being. The whistle will be blown. And the Saints will receive the ball. Jonathan Manis comes out of the net for the Patriots to gather the ball and get a, get the offense going for his team. Saints have thrown on the near side of the field. They try to get in quickly to exploit France Marin's defense, but Patriots were ready for it. Francis Marion has really upped their defense this far in the half. Getting after every ball, they seem to be everywhere. Flagler doesn't have an answer yet. Whistle will be blown here. As there was a foul, Saints are going to have it for a free kick off to the left side of the box. A little bit of an awkward angle. See if they can maybe cross this one into the box and get enough air under it. Ready for a header. Saints have had success from headers before. This one goes 
past Jonathan Mass. He was able to get a hand on it the first time. Knocked it out to the far side, to the near side of the post, but he was able to come up with it after all. <clears throat> Manis gets the ball away now for Francis Marion, who looks to set up their offense. Saints need to keep it in the Francis Marion half of the field in order to tie this one up. To much of the chagrin of the fans, referee calls the foul there. And here comes the free kick from Francis Marion Patriots. Gets it past the wall, but into Craig's hands. Good looking save there from Lex. Play is starting to get a little rougher here in the second half. As another Francis Marion player goes down, there was a whistle blown for it. Francis Marion has a throw in on the far side of the field. Or a free kick, I'm sorry. Nope, I was right the first time. It is thrown for Francis Marion. There was no foul called. Ball comes into the box, but the Saints were ready for it, and they're able to pop it out of there and clear it for the time being. Finally able to clear it out of bounds. Francis Marion is going to have a throw in. That ball goes way out of bounds. Francis Marion is going to have the goal kick. Saints look to have an opportunity brewing there. But to no avail. Here's the goal kick from Manis. Gets it out past midfield. Saints are able to win the ball back off of that goal kick. And get it back into Francis, Mar Francis Marion's half of the field. Whistle is blown for a foul against Saints. Good slide tackle there by the Saints. Send it out of bounds and slow down the attack. Saints are able to set up their defense now. The throw and will come from the near side of the field for Francis Marion. Good 
passing there from France Marin. Saints were ready for it in the box, though. Whistle is blown against the Patriots. Lex Craigs will set up the offense with a free kick of his own. Quick possession there for the Saints as the ball goes right back to Francis Marion as the ball was put right into Manis' hands. Francis Marion now looking to get it up the field. Good defense, though, by the Saints once again. They've been playing good defense here in the second half. Trying to get a goal-scoring opportunity alive. They haven't had too much possession in the second half. Whistle is blown as two players from opposing sides went up for the header. Looks like Samba Jop was one of them for the Saints. Got a little bit of push in the back and went down, so the Saints will have a free kick. And here comes free kick, gets it into the box. Not able to get a head on it, though. Saints do retain possession on the attacking half of the field. Ball sent right back in just outside the box. Shot is taken from outside the box. Had a lot of heat on it, but it stayed on the ground, so Manis was able to get low and stop the ball. Ball is sent out of bounds right in front of the, uh, the Saints' bench. Saints have the throne in front of their own bench. They get in quickly, looking to get the ball back upfield. Saints send this one out of bounds. There will be a throw in around midfield for France Marin. Saints will be able to set up their defense. Saints are able to win the ball away on that throw and trying to get a counterattack going, but France Marin's defense gets back quickly and gets the ball.
Good pass there. Sends it down near sideline. Trying to make a move and get past a couple defenders here. Saints have the ball just outside of the box. This one's going to be crossed right into the middle of the box. Saints not able to get ahead on it, though, as the ball comes back out. Manis comes out and grabs that one quickly before any Saints player can get a piece of the ball. Manis now sets up his offense for the Patriots. Ball is popped up in the air. Saints won the header, but Francis Marion was waiting for it at midfield. Good moves there from the Saints. Getting past a couple of Francis Marion defenders as they collapsed on the ball. And the throw-in will come from the far side of the field. Throwing Cubs for Francis Marion now. Deep in their own zone. Flagler puts a little bit of pressure as the ball comes in. But Francis Marion was able to clear it out to midfield. We have about 26 minutes left in this second half. Potentially in the game. Saints still down 2-1. to one. Francis Marion has scored two unanswered goals after Pedro Silva put one in the back of the net for the Saints to take the lead earlier in the first half. Francis Marion scored both of their goals within a couple of minutes of each other. Saints have not had an answer back for it yet, but they have had more possession in the second half, doing a better job at keeping it in the zone and not getting rid of the ball so quickly. Francis Marion's defense has just been Stifling, not allowing too many shots or passes to get into the box. Good slide tackle there. The Saints were able to get to the ball first. However, the ball did not bounce far enough away and the Patriots retained possession, looking for the give and go there. Saints are playing Good defense in the back there, trying to make the stop. Craig's eventually comes up with it and gets the ball back out quickly for Flagler. Saints try to send this one in to the attacking zone. Keeps going out of bounds, though, right around the same area. Francis Marion is doing a good job at holding the Saints at bay, not allowing too much pressure on Jonathan Manis, who comes up with the ball and gets rid of it quickly. Ball is stolen away by Francis Marion. 
Saints putting just enough pressure, though, not allowing them to get it out of the attacking zone. Saints have done a good job of keeping Sandman in check, who has not gotten too many shots off. He leads the Peach Belt Conference with 70 shots. He also leads the Peach Belt in points. He has 29 points on the season. But scoring so far for, for uh, Francis Marion has not been Sandman. Instead, it was his teammates... doing a little bit more of the heavy lifting in this game. One of those goals came from Oliver Drakenhammer. He put in the second goal for Francis Marion. Francis Marin will now have a corner kick as it comes into the box. Flagler gets ahead on it quickly and is able to clear the ball away. Good defense there by the Saints trying to get the ball away. Not able to clear it just yet, but they were able to win the ball back. Ball is now won by Francis Marin. Samba Jop was on his way after playing a good Defensive series there. He's trying to break out. Pass just couldn't get to him in time, though. Saints do have the ball now. Looking to get a counterattack going. Shot comes off the left foot. Nothing behind it, though. Manis makes an easy save. And holds on to the ball, trying to get the offense set up for the Patriots. Craig's puts a boot into it, gets it out towards midfield for the Saints. Ball comes up into Francis Marion's half of the field and rolls out of bounds. Saints are going to send in a couple of subs now. And the Saints have the throw in right around midfield. defense play there by the Saints as the ball switched sides of the field. We were able to get rid of it. Saints now have a counter attack going. France Marion closes quickly on defense though, getting their men back as fast as they can. Have about 50, uh, 19 and a half minutes left in the game. Saints still down 2-1.
Jonathan Manis will set up for the goal kick now for the Francis Marion Patriots. Puts this one high up in the air and out to midfield. Saints are able to get the header. France Marion now looking to go on the attack of their own. Saints getting back on defense quickly, though, as France Marion pass it around looking for a give and go on the through ball there. Try to pop it up over the defender's head, but Lex Craig's had it. Read like a book and was able to get to the ball before anybody else. Saints now sell it down, looking to get their offense going and back onto the Francis Marion half of the field. Saints had a couple players crashing there, but Manis came out quickly to stop any opportunity the Saints had. Gets it out quickly to his teammates trying to get their attack going. Saints are ready for it, though. Whistle will be blown, and the Saints will have the ball. France Marin looking to attack now. Saints get back on defense quickly, trying to stop them. France Marin is able to get past a couple defenders, though. Good looking passing. They get a shot off. That one is way high. Field goal would have been good if we had post back there. Lex Craigs is going to sit up for the goal kick. Craig's now back ready to put a boom into this ball. Whistle has been blown. He's ready. Takes a few steps up and puts a surge into it. Gets it out past midfield. Ball hangs up in the air for a little while after a few headers. Saints finally able to come down with it. France Marin switch sides of the field onto the near side here, trying to get a man running. They've got one man past our last defender. He sends one in towards the box. Lex Craig's got a hand on, was able to corral it. There was a rebound opportunity, but France Marion 
put it just a little too high and off the crossbar. Soccer, guard, soccer gods were on our side that time, not allowing that ball to go bar down. As it popped up in the air, Craig's came out of the net and was able to stop at the first ball. Crossbar gave him a little bit of help on the second one, though. Craig's comes out of the net, makes the easy save that time. Pass had a little bit too much on it as it rolled out of bounds on the near side of the field here. Francis Marion is going to have the throw in. Saints have to get back on defense once again as Francis Marion is looking to get something going offensively. Saints have done a pretty good job at holding them intact. This one's going to roll out of the back line, though, and Francis Marion will have the corner. Corner comes in towards the back post. Saints are able to get ahead on it and knock it out of the box. Send it out of bounds. There will be a throw in on the far side of the field. Good defense there by the Saints to stop the corner opportunity from happening. France Marion gets the ball in quickly. Good defense played there by the Saints as they forced the ball away and are given a throw in on or a kick on the far side of the field. Lex Craigs is going to move up with the ball, trying to get the offense going. That ball sent right back down the field by France Merriam. Before we can give them an opportunity, though, at a one-on-one -on -one goal scoring opportunity, Saints were able to send it out of bounds. They set up their defense. Ball is brought into the middle of the box. Shot is taken, but... A lot of curve on it. Too high as it goes way over the net. Lex Craigs is going to have a goal kick for the Saints. Nine and a half minutes left in the game. Saints still down 2-1 to the Patriots. The opportunity is lost there by the Saints. That one goes high and well above the crossbar. Francis Marion will now have the goal kick on the opposite side of the field. Saints haven't had the ball in the box hardly at all in this second half. 
especially compared to the first half. France Marion's defense has really tightened up as the Saints have not been able to do too much offensively. We've had to get back pretty often as possessions are changing quickly in this second half. Whistle is blown. Foul goes against the Saints. Francis Marion is going to have the free kick. And here comes the kick off the left foot. Gets in near the box. But a little too far. Saints look to have a counter attack going now. Because they have a couple men advantage. Trying to get up the field. France Marion plays good defense though to send it. Out of bounds. Saints have a throw on right in front of their bench. A little miscommunication there from the Saints. As that one rolls off the back of a Saints player running down the far sideline of the field. Now the whistle is blown and another foul against Saints. Francis Marin will have the ball right behind midfield. He comes into the box. Saints are able to get ahead on it first. And it's bouncing around up in the air near the box. Saints finally able to corral it. Trying to clear it out of there. Or get the ball up the field. They now have possession of it. Trying to get the offense alive. As they have been silent in this second half. Saints have the throw. And they get in quickly trying to exploit Francis Marion's defense. It was a foot race for the ball. France Marin was able to get to it first and get a shot off, but Ray and, Ray and Alex Craig's gut made an easy save on him. Got the ball out quickly. Well, I say easy. He made it look easy. That ball was coming at him pretty quickly, but he was able to corral it with ease. Some recent good news for Flagler College men's soccer as we have a 
quick stoppage of play. There will be a foul against Francis Marion. Saints are going to have a free kick. One piece of good news, as I was saying, a couple of our players, four of them to be exact, have been selected to the Peach Belt Conference All-Academic Team. Lex Craigs, Damjanovic, Yop, Jop, and Cameron Sobar all made the Peach Belt Conference All-Academic Team. Congratulations to those men. Hopefully, there's more to come from this game. We have... Just a few minutes left, still down Saints trying to get a counterattack here. Samba gets the ball up nicely, and there is a blatant foul. Ref did see that when he's calling for the free kick. Saints are playing not only against Francis Marin, but also against the clock now. Two minutes, 50 seconds left. Still down 2-1. Need one goal to send this one into overtime and keep the game going. Moreno sets up for the Saints. Puts this one into the box. Not able to get ahead on it, though, as this one rolls out of the box and towards the far sideline. Saints do have possession of it, though, for the time being until France Marin is able to clear it out past midfield. This one is sent back into the box. Saints do get a piece of that one. And the whistle is blown. Waiting to see what the call is. Appears that there was a foul just outside the box, so there will not be a penalty kick. A free kick is taken right at the edge of the box for the Saints. Two minutes, 20 seconds left. This could be a crucial opportunity for the Saints. Let's see what they can make of it. Francis Marion sets up their wall. Quite a few men deep. And there's the kick that comes off of Francis Marion. And it looks like somebody left that wall a little too early and came up past the required zone so we will have a retry from about the same spot there's the whistle and here comes the kick that one's in! It's in the back of the net. Goal Flagler. Beautiful shot as he ripped it past the wall. Kept it low to the ground and underneath everyone. Saints have tied this game up at two with two minutes left. There's that crucial opportunity I was talking about. We were able to score a huge goal off of it. The wall thought the ball was going to come high, and all of them jumped. However, the ball went underneath, past the goalie, into the bottom left corner of the net. Ripping through the net. Beautiful shot. Saints have tied the game up.
Pedro Silva was the one who put the ball in the back of the net. That is his second goal of the game. He is responsible for both goals thus far, tying the game up for the Saints with just two minutes left in regulation. I don't know about you fans out there in YouTube land, but the fans here at Saints Field went crazy after Pedro Silva put that one in. Really exciting, exciting game going on here. Very important game going on here as the Saints need this win to tie Francis Marion point-wise in the Peach Belt Conference. This will be a huge win for the Saints if they can pull it out. They still have about a minute and a half left in regulation. Score is tied at two thanks to Pedro Silva's late goal off of the free kick. Another opportunity there for the Saints trying to put an end to this one and put the nail in the coffin. Good save there, though, by Jonathan Manis for Francis Marion. Saints will have a corner kick, as I've said all night long. We've had success in corners in the past. Hopefully we can put one through here. This ball is crossed into the box, but Francis Marion had it scouted and were able to get a piece of it. This ball is going to be sent out of bounds. Saints are going to have the throw in. Racing against the clock, 30 seconds left, tied up at two. Saints trying to end this one before going into overtime. Another opportunity, there's the shot just wide of the net though. That one may have gotten past Manis, but it was wide. 10 seconds left in regulation. Looks like we might have a little extra soccer coming your way, fans. And there is the final buzzer for regulation. Thanks to Pedro Silva, the Saints have tied this one up 2-2. Two to two. We're about to go into overtime. This is a huge game, fans. I cannot stress that enough. I don't know if you guys are as excited as I am about extra soccer. I'm about to go crazy, though. If the Saints are able to win this one, I will lose my mind. Tied up at 2 We'll be right back with you. I've been Troy McNeil. This has been Flagler College Athletics. You're watching Flagler men's soccer take on Francis Marion. Do not leave. We will be right back in just a few minutes.
Welcome back, Saints fans. This is Troy McNeil. You're watching Flagler College men's soccer take on Francis Marion. We are in overtime, the first of two overtime periods. Ten minutes each, it is golden goal, meaning whoever puts the ball in the back of the net first comes out of this game the victor. If you're just joining us, I feel very sorry for you. This has been a crazy game. I'll recap as much as I can. Pedro Silva got us started early to give the Saints a 1-0 lead in the first half. In that same first half, Francis Marin was able to put two goals unanswered on the board within just a couple minutes of each other. Starting the second half, it looked like the Saints may have been down and out because every time we got into the zone, Francis Marin's defense was able to get it out. However, with just a couple of minutes left, on a free kick just outside the box, Pedro Silva kept it low and was able to put the ball past the wall, past Jonathan Manis, past Francis Marion to tie this game up. We are now in overtime. If you've been listening, you know how important this game is. I've been stressing it all night long. If we can win this game, we may have some home field advantage during the Peach Bowl Conference. Even a tie would help Saints... Need this one playing. Great soccer so far. They look to keep it up in this first of two overtime periods. Francis Marion now pushing a little more on the offensive side. Trying to get something going. Saints defense is there waiting for him though. Having none of it. Craig sets up the kick for the Saints here. Gets it out past midfield. Ball's going to roll around for Mint Francis Marion. Wins possession of it. And quickly lose it after a whistle is blown. Saints have it and get the ball going quickly. Trying to get it back into the zone for one more opportunity. All we need is one goal to end this. That's all it takes. And as you've seen, all we need is one opportunity to put one in the back of the net. Saints have done a great job in this game at holding Francis Marion's main goal, goal scorer and shot taker, Sandman, to a minimum this, th this game. They've good, done a good job at keeping all of Francis Marion in check, only allowing the two goals. We have a quick stoppage in play as we have a Saints player down. Trainers will be coming onto the field to make sure he is okay. Looks like Myron Guyton is the one who is down number four for the Saints. Trainers are working on him right now. He's going to be able to get up and walk off with a little bit of help. He's a tough guy, as they say in sports. He's probably a hockey player.
And there's the whistle to get play back underway. Lex Craig sends this one out. But it will travel out of bounds right near the Saints bench. Francis Marin will have the throw in. This ball comes into the box. Saints are able to get ahead on it, but Francis Marin was waiting for it and clear the ball out past midfield. Whistle will be blown, and it looks like Francis Marin will be awarded the ball off of the foul. Here comes the cross into the box from Francis Marion. They were able to get ahead on it, but not able to angle it near Lex Craig's. That one's going to travel out of the back line, so Craig's will set up for a goal kick. It is 9.41 over here on the East Coast. This game started right around 7. It's been a long one. We're in our first of two overtime period, two potential overtime periods with about four and a half minutes left. Tied up at 2. It's a beautiful night here at Flagler. Temperature is dropping down to about 70 some odd degrees. Perfect night for soccer. And who can ask for anything better than some free soccer on the side? Only thing more you wo you would want would be a Saints win. And I'm hoping that's in our future. Saints have the ball here with another goal-scoring opportunity. Here comes the corner from the Saints. Goes out past the box though Saints will retain possession for the time being not able to control it off at first so Francis Marion is making a push for the ball good play there by Damjanovic to knock the ball away and slow down the attack from Francis Marion they now have a man running who takes a shot but puts too much on as the air mails over the net Lex Craigs will have a goal kick. Foul goes against Francis Marion. Saints are going to have a free kick right around midfield. They get rid of it quickly, trying to exploit the defense, but Francis Marion was on top of it, and they win the ball back, trying to send it up the field for a counterattack, but it will roll out of bounds, slowing it down. That ball bounces around for a little bit in the box. Those are always the ones that make you hold your breath, but Craig's was able to come out of the net and corral the ball for the Saints. Two minutes left in this first of two overtime periods. 2-2 two to two is the score. Saints are able to come up with the ball. Good looking pass there. No flag is up for offsides. Shot is taken. 
not anything on it, though. Mannis comes up with the ball for Francis Marion. Saints attack the ball as it comes out, though, to Francis Marion and are able to win the ball back. Whistle will be blown on the foul. Good sportsmanship there between Dominic DeFell and look like number three, Luca Canutza for Francis Marion. Free kick comes into the box. Header is placed on it. And then the volley on the shot. But not able to get on top of the ball. As this one sails high out of bounds. About a minute left in this first of two overtime periods. Clock appears to be running out on this first of two overtime periods. And there is the buzzer. We will take this into a second overtime period. It's going to take a full overtime to decide this one. Do not leave us. This game has been exciting. You're getting free soccer. Not that you weren't getting free soccer before thanks to YouTube. But... You're getting exciting stuff from these Saints. I've been Troy McNeil. This has been Flagler College Athletics. You're watching Flagler Men's Soccer take on Francis Marion. We'll be back in just a couple minutes. We're back, Saints fans. I'm Troy McNeil. This is Flagler College Athletics. You're watching Flagler College men's soccer take on Francis Marion Patriots. I need all the fans out there to do a quick check for me. I want you to take your hand, check your pulse. Still breathing? Sweet. Hope you're ready for this excitement, then. we got ten more minutes left on the clock. Tied up 2-2. Huge game for the Saints this this has huge implications for the Peach Belt Conference as the Saints are taking off Francis Marion. The Saints, if they were to win this game, would be tied with Francis Marion in points in the Peach Belt Conference. It 
if they're able to tie it, that could help out with some home field advantage during the Peach Belt Conference Tournament if we are lucky enough to get in. Saints are going to send this one out of bounds and set up their defense. Francis Marion looks to get the ball in quickly. Nobody running back fast enough, though, so the defense of the Saints will be able to set up. Whistle is blown against Francis Marion. Saints are going to have the ball now. Lex Craigs is going to be the one taking it for the Saints. He gets it away quickly, and we're back underway. This ball is chipped up into the air, looking to get into the zone. But Jonathan Manis comes out and gets it for Francis Marion. Not able to clear it out past midfield yet as the Saints still have it in their attacking half of the field. Whistle is blown. Francis Marion will get called for a foul. Dominic DeFell was the one going down for the Saints. Saints will have a free kick. Taking the free kick for the Saints. Looks like it will be number three, Imanja Damjanovic. Sends it into the box. Jonathan Mannis comes out quickly, though, and gets two hands on it, sets it up for France Marion, trying to get it away and clear the ball. Saints are going to send this one out of bounds just to be safe and sub the defense. France Marion looks to get the ball in quickly, and they rushed it. Causing an error, Saints have the throw, and on the far side of the field, right near their bench. Good ball movement here from the Saints, switching sides of the field, trying to get something alive and get into the box there. France Marion now looking to go on a counterattack of their own, trying to get past a few back defenders of the Saints, but that is hard-fought defense, and the Saints are able to win the ball back. Great play there by the defense, cutting off the attack. Whistle is blown against the Saints, who were running after the ball. Looks like he got a little too antsy going after it. So Francis Marion will have it for a free kick. Setting this ball up in the air past midfield. Saints are surrounding the ball, trying to get it back. And they succeed for the time being, trying to get it back into the attacking half of the field. Put some pressure on Francis Marion's defense and their goalie to make one final play. Ball comes in towards Craigs. He comes out, makes an easy save on it, and gets the ball out quickly to 
the rest of his team out on Francis Marion's half of the field. Good give and go there from Saints trying to get into the box. Pass is given up. Oh, we had an opportunity there. Saints still have the ball, though, off the deflection. Saints had a couple opportunities there. There was one ball that was whiffed on right in front of the net. Off the rebound, though, a rocket was shot from just just the top of the box. Great save was made, though, by Jonathan Manis and Francis Marion as they're able to keep this game alive. Three and a half minutes left in the final overtime period. Still tied up at two. This is golden goal, which means the first goal to get put in the back of the net ends the game. Saints are reading the ball very nicely on defense. Keeping it away from Francis Marin, there is a whistle blown as a Francis Marin player goes down. Good sportsmanship there to make sure he is okay and play will resume. He get, Francis Marin player gets up quickly so we can start this game off without stopping the clock or needing a trainer. Craigs comes out and makes the save just inside of the box. Good ball movement here from the Saints. Good looking through ball. We may have another opportunity to score here. Pass is brought out. Another whiff on that shot though. Just not able to connect with the ball. Not able to control it enough to get a good looking shot. We have Two minutes left in the game, still tied up at two. There's the give and go from Francis Marion. Saints are on top of it quickly, though, and booted out to set up their defense. That is a tough pill to swallow. Francis Marion is able to put one through with two minutes left in the game to end it. Francis Marion takes the three to two win as the ball came strolling into the box. Really hard-fought game on both sides. Flagler did everything they could to keep this game alive, just not able to do enough. We had a few opportunities here in this second overtime period, but not able to put one in the back of the net. Francis Marion comes up with one heck of a goal there to end it. Uh, Got to give credit where credit is due. What what a game. Uh, the, the excitement was there. Uh, motions ran high. This is a tough one to take. Sorry, Saints fans. Uh, thank you for joining us in YouTube land. This has been Flagler College Athletics. Flagler College Men's Soccer. Fall. This has been the last, the last home match of the regular season for the men. But keep track of the Peach Belt Conference Tournament. We could end up with a home game here. In that tournament, we take on Clayton State next at Clayton State. That game will be Saturday, October 29th in Morrow, Georgia. Look on YouTube for that game. Um, I've been Troy McNeil. This has been Flagler College Men's Soccer. Thank you guys for joining us. Go Saints, and our season is not over. Keep track of these boys. Thank you all for joining us. Signing off for now. Go Saints.